10. Do not record videos at higher frame rate than you need because it will drain the battery faster and it will shorten the frame shutter time which restricts the light on the sensor. At 60 frames per second you will lose up to 50% light and the camera will raise the ISO in order to compensate the light which in turn will lower the video quality. 9. When you don't use the Wi-Fi connection turn it off. It saves a lot of battery time. To quickly turn on or off the Wi-Fi just press and hold the side button. 8. If you turn the camera off and you have used the Wi-Fi connection, then the Wi-Fi remains on until it drains the battery. So to completely turn off the camera, including the Wi-Fi, press and hold the power button and then press and hold the side button. 7. For much better audio quality, it is recommended that you get an external microphone or an external audio recorder. You will find some microphone links in the video description. 6. Use the spot meter when you use the GoPro as a card dash cam, otherwise it will focus on your window instead of the outside. 5. Using the Super View Wide Angle Mode, the GoPro uses the entire sensor for recording which gives you a better video quality. But the image distortion needs to be corrected in post and the camera will use more battery to power the extra pixels on the sensor. When you use medium or narrow, the image may be slightly more noisy, but you don't need to correct the image distortion in post processing and you may get slightly more battery life. on a single battery. The GoPro battery is very small and it drains fast, especially if you use the Wi-Fi connection. Get at least 2-3 batteries and an external charger. Also the GoPro extended battery is good to have even if it makes the camera much more bigger. You will find some good batteries in the video description. Three. What memory cards to use for GoPro? Any 32GB or 64GB microSD card which will have a write speed of at least 10 megabytes per second. You don't need more because GoPro have a maximum of 60 megabits write speed which is 7.5 megabytes per second. You don't need the most expensive card but not the cheapest either. Samsung Evo Plus or Pro cards have the best price for performance they offer. Sony and A Data also are very good cards. Use a USB 3.0 card reader if your computer have a USB 3.0 port. More information about memory cards will be explained in another video. Check the video description for some good memory cards. Two. GoPro 4 Black have a dual core processor which generates a lot of heat and the entire camera gets very hot especially when recording at higher frame rates or higher resolutions. It is recommended that you regularly let your camera cool down when you use it in hot conditions. The heat is not good for the image quality, when the sensor is heating it creates more noise. One. If you use the GoPro with a handheld or a wearable mount, the videos will be shaky and annoying to the viewer's eye. In dry conditions, it is very recommended to use a small gimbal for a professional steady video. Check the video descriptions for some very good gimbals.